Make sure you fix that problem on time or you will need new engine that can cost you thousands of dollars. Hey guys, welcome back to Auto Repair guys. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Today will be super helpful video guys to any V having a dot charger. It could be practically any generation dot charger, any engine. If, and if your serpentine belt falls off, we'll explain in this video guys the top reasons for that, how to fix it. If not fixed over time, you can practically destroy your engine and you may need a new, a new engine or the engine rebuild. So make sure to stay until the end and we'll cover very helpful information today. Before we start, let me tell you a little bit about us. Every single car we get here at the garage, we try to make guys at least two to three hundred free repair videos. On that dot charger, we'll have even more. Why we do that? Because our mission in the shop is to save you as much money as we can. All we need guys in return, please subscribe to the channel, like the video, that way we can keep making these free videos, absolutely free. And if you guys need to buy any parts, tools for your dot charger or any car, you want to get them at a good price and quick shipping, you want to save money, check out the link in the description of the video below, that's where we get all our to supplies from and uh, we'll share where you can find even additional things so what we have specifically here 2018 dodge that's a 3.6 quite common engine on dot chargers but even if you have the 57 hemi 6264 you'll be very very similar as well so uh, let's uh, let's talk about that now right here this is guys serpentine belt tensioner this is idle pulley, this is the belt. Let's explain about different components, what to expect. You can see, this is the crankshaft pulley, that's what turns the belt. Always stay away from the fan. I would recommend to always disconnect the car battery. So if the fan, you know, turns on, you cut your hands off if they're inside. So always disconnect the car battery. And on these modern cars, it really matters which battery terminal you disconnect, reconnect first, because if you do it the wrong way, you can cause damage to the electrical system, modules, computers, and that can cost you thousands and thousands of dollars, guys. And sleepless nights, believe me, to find the problem. So that's, uh, that's crankshaft pulley, water pump, that's AC compressor, this right here is alternator and we have two more components tensioner pulley this is automatic tensioner that applies tensioner tension to the belt all the time and this is idler pulley right here on top that practically is just a routing pulley that doesn't do anything but spins freely what can cause the belt to fall off the most common things that we see here tensioner failing guys if your tensioner fails it has a spring it has an automatic spring and if that tensioner fails, you will not put tension on the belt, it can come off quite common. Number two, failing pulleys on the tensioner. Those plastic pulleys, they do fail eventually. And you have bearings that can fail as well. And when they become wobbly and worn, okay, they can even break and that can cause guys the belt to come off easily. Number three, the belt itself, if it's stretched, especially if it has been exposed to oil and coolant, it can get soft and stretchy. The tensioner may not be able to put enough tension on that belt, it can come off easily as well. Another thing to consider, make sure the AC compressor is not frozen. If uh, the AC compressor is seized, practically, if it's seized, it will not be able to turn. Okay, and uh, especially uh, when the clutch engages, okay, that part, if it doesn't turn, that can cause the belt to come off, quite common. Alternator. Uh, we've seen some seized alternators, but not quite common, guys. Water pump can develop a play, but often when you develop so much play, you will often develop uh, coolant leaks as well, so never ignore them. But if it develops a play, or the pulley develops a play, it can actually come off and cause the belt to come off. That's the crankshaft pulley right there. It consists of three components. Inner part, that's made out of metal. Uh, middle part, made out of rubber, and the outer part, made out of metal. The purpose of that is known as harmonic balancer. It eliminates vibrations. But if that uh, practically rubber bushing is unglued, it can become wobbly, and that wobbly thing can cause the belt to come off. But not quite common, guys. Mostly on higher mileage engines. More often, you will notice failing tensioner and either a pulley or a stretch belt. Those are the most common ones. If you guys have any more questions on dot charger, you want to see anything specifically, just leave a comment below. We will be more than glad to make a video for your specific problem. That way, we can help you. We can help other people. We can build a community where we help each other and we save money. So we have a, we have a place okay, where we can learn and save money. Thank you guys for watching. Hopefully the video was helpful and see you guys next time.